Prince William's bold decisions, reshaping the monarchy, sidestepping Queen Camilla, and Catherine's resilience. Prince William's recent actions have sent ripples through the British monarchy, signaling a new era of royal leadership with profound implications. These decisions, aimed at streamlining the monarchy and reducing Queen Camilla's influence, mark a pivotal moment in the institution's modern history. Sources close to the palace reveal that William's moves are not only reshaping the roles of key members, but are also entwined with personal emotions rooted in the experiences of his late mother, Princess Diana. The involvement of Princess Anne and the Duchess of Cambridge, Catherine, in these discussions further highlights William's intention to recalibrate the monarchy's future. This bold shift comes as the family navigates internal dynamics, public expectations, and personal histories, making it one of the most significant adjustments in recent decades. Let's explore the layers behind William's strategy, Camilla's diminishing influence, the personal motivations driving these changes, and the unexpected role Catherine plays in the new royal landscape. William's actions are being interpreted as more than a routine restructuring of royal duties. According to insiders, the Prince of Wales has made decisive moves to minimize the role Queen Camilla plays within the monarchy, signaling a departure from previous expectations. For many, Camilla's increasing visibility in recent years represented an evolution of the institution, yet William's intervention suggests he envisions a different trajectory for the Crown's future. His focus on a streamlined monarchy, emphasizing direct heirs rather than expanding roles to distant relatives or in-laws, underscores this intention. This restructuring also places Catherine and Princess and at the forefront of royal affairs, seemingly bypassing Queen Camilla. Anne's involvement is noteworthy, as she embodies tradition and duty, often being seen as the monarchy's unsung workhorse. The decision to elevate both Catherine and Anne suggests William is crafting a team that reflects his vision of a modern yet efficient institution. Their inclusion, while leaving Camilla sidelined, is not coincidental. It's a strategic move intended to reshape the future monarchy around individuals whose values align with his own. A critical component in this royal maneuvering is William's personal history with Camilla. Insiders reveal that, despite his public composure, William has harbored complex emotions toward Camilla since childhood. These emotions stem from the tumultuous period surrounding the divorce of his parents, Charles and Diana, and the eventual revelation of Charles' relationship with Camilla. William's deep admiration for his mother, coupled with the pain she endured, has left emotional scars that continue to influence his perspective on Camilla. While William has publicly supported Camilla in her role as Queen Consort following Charles' ascension to the throne, palace insiders suggest that a part of him remains conflicted. His actions, they argue, reflect an effort to balance personal emotions with public duty. The subtle exclusion of Camilla from key discussions regarding the monarchy's restructuring appears to be a reflection of this unresolved tension. Princess Diana's influence looms large over William's life and decisions. Throughout his upbringing, Diana emphasized compassion, service, and a connection with the public, values that William continues to uphold. In many ways, his vision for the monarchy echoes his mother's ideals, a more approachable institution, stripped of unnecessary opulence, and focused on serving the people. This connection to Diana is evident in William's efforts to streamline the monarchy. By reducing the number of working royals, William aims to make the institution more relevant to contemporary society. However, this approach also serves a personal purpose. It allows him to keep the memory of his mother alive by ensuring that those closely associated with her values, such as Catherine and Anne, remain central to the crown's future. A key figure in this transformation is Catherine, Duchess of Cambridge. Having recently completed a significant health journey, reports indicate that Catherine has concluded her cancer treatment, emerging stronger than ever. Her resilience has indeed had to both the public and the royal family, reinforcing her role as a vital member of the monarchy. Catherine's involvement in the discussions surrounding the monarchy's future underscores her importance to William. Their partnership, 
both personal and professional, has become a cornerstone of the institution. In many ways, Catherine embodies the modern monarchy, balancing tradition with progressiveness and maintaining a strong connection with the public. Her elevated role, alongside Princess Anne, further suggests that William envisions a monarchy rooted in service, integrity, and familial unity. Princess Anne's inclusion in these discussions speaks volumes about the direction William intends to take. Known for her no-nonsense approach and tireless work ethic, and has been a steady presence within the royal family. Her dedication to duty aligns with William's vision of an efficient monarchy focused on service rather than spectacle. In contrast to Queen Camilla, whose public image remains divisive, Anne's reputation is largely unblemished. She has maintained a low profile while consistently fulfilling her royal obligations, making her an ideal ally for William as he redefines the institution. Anne's presence in these discussions not only signals continuity, but also reinforces William's desire to focus on the monarchy's core mission. The sidelining of Queen Camilla marks a significant shift in the family's dynamics. For years, Camilla had steadily gained influence within the monarchy, culminating in her role as Queen Consort. However, William's recent actions suggest a deliberate effort to curtail her involvement. Insiders interpret this move as part of a broader strategy to ensure that the monarchy remains focused on the line of succession, rather than becoming diluted by extended family members. Camilla's relatives, including her son Tom Parker Bowles and sister Annabel Elliot, have quietly participated in royal engagements over the years. Yet William's decision to exclude them from the royal payroll indicates a clear preference for prioritizing direct heirs to the throne. This approach not only reflects his desire for a leaner monarchy, but also subtly diminishes Camilla's standing within the family. At the heart of William's decisions lies a vision for a modern monarchy, one that is streamlined, efficient, and focused on the future. His emphasis on a reduced number of working royals reflects a broader trend seen in other European monarchies, where reigning families have adapted to changing societal expectations by downsizing. By concentrating royal duties on direct heirs, William aims to ensure that the institution remains relevant and connected to the public. This approach also aligns with his desire to build a monarchy that reflects his values, one that prioritizes service, unity, and responsibility. William's decisions have sparked a range of reactions from the public and royal watchers alike. Many view his actions as a positive step toward modernizing the monarchy praising his focus on service and efficiency. Others, however, interpret the exclusion of Camilla as a sign of lingering tensions within the family. The involvement of Catherine and Princess Anne has been widely welcomed, with both women enjoying strong public support. Their inclusion in these discussions signals a new chapter for the monarchy, one that is rooted in stability and continuity. Prince William's recent actions mark a turning point for the British monarchy. By sidelining Queen Camilla, elevating Catherine and Princess Anne, and focusing on a leaner institution, William is shaping a future that reflects both personal convictions and public expectations. At the core of these changes lies a desire to honour the legacy of Princess Diana, ensuring that her values continue to guide the monarchy. As the royal family navigates these transitions, one thing is clear, William's vision for the crown is rooted in a commitment to service, unity, and responsibility, ushering in a new era for the British monarchy.